Hey everybody, I'm what? back. What? I'm did not. You... Where did you go? Uh, I forgot. Don't, but... leave, don't leave me like this. Okay. I had well, to do this alone and with other people who weren't you, who were pretty good actually. <laughs> Ugh, that so, sounds awful. Yeah. Other people. Well, I'm not dead, as the internet rumors have been stating lately. So I'm back, uh, and I'm at. Oh, I, I, I heard already. I'm at, not I'm <laughs> Matt. Like, you're at what? You're at the comic store. Yeah, Southern kidding. California Comics. Weekly video update. Comic book review video. Comics came out. We're going to talk about them. Yeah. As we often do. Yeah. Well, weekly. Occasionally, some of us do. Some of us disappear into yeah. Mexico for months. I've been doing it every week. Oh, my God. I've heard rumors. Well, let's do it good this week now. Why don't you start... It's I think we're gonna we're gonna start on a similar fashion. Okay, it, it appears. Are. Okay. Um, I'm gonna talk about Batman '66. Mm. I actually just read this one today. This is not one of those weeks where I haven't read anything. Ah, good. Yes. That's important. Um, so DC's been putting out these Batman '66 comics digitally on Comicsology and such, mm. and then compiling three of the issues into one $3.99 comic book that you can hold with your hands. Mm. And it is good. It is so good because it is Batman '66. Batman '66 is amazing. Yeah. Having watched some of the episodes recently on bootleg DVDs I bought, they're almost just like the 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 kind of the whole show. It's yeah. I mean, it's in paper form. It's not TV form, but it's the same feel, the same weirdness, the same odd terminology and, and, got, and speak patterns. You've got Batman surfing. Everyone's drawn like the the actual characters, and Batman isn't fit either. Yeah, he's not like real massive. He's a, he's a little he's a little wide in the middle, just, just like Adam West. Perfect. Yeah, like, go on Netflix, watch the Batman 66 movie, and then buy some issues. I noticed that the drop-down from issue 1 to 2 was from selling out to selling, like, 10 issues. So I feel like you guys didn't get the memo, or you don't trust me, or you don't like good books, because this is a good book. Totally worth checking out. Yeah. And then buying it. You have to buy it. Great for the kids, too. Yeah. It's just good fun. Yeah. And, like, the art's amazing. This one's got uh, Ty Templeton doing the Mr. Freeze penguin story, and then a third story by uh, Jonathan Case, who did the first issue, and the colors are nuts. Yeah. Yeah. So, do it. Speaking of... How do I tie this book in the next one? Speaking of b b b DC, DC Digi Comics. DC Digital First Comics. Yeah, it's Batman Beyond Universe. Uh, okay, so you probably, if you read Batman Beyond books, this is your third title change from Batman Beyond to Batman Beyond Unlimited to Batman Beyond Universe. What's the difference? The difference now is uh, it's the same price, but um, they're kind of playing off the fact that there are other characters in the Batman Beyond Universe like Justice League Unlimited or like Superman or, you know, they introduce new ones like the Batgirl Unlimited. Um, Batgirl Beyond? Batgirl Beyond, thank you. Forget Unlimited Universe? Adjective I have to be using. Um, so. So it's still Batman, Batman gets the first story, and then whatever they want to do is next. So it's kind of more of a, an anthology series where they can kind of flesh out that cartoon world and give you more. Yeah. So that's why the change, it makes sense. It fits. If you love Batman Beyond as a, as a child or a grown person, mm -hmm. whatever, there's a comic book about it. All about it. So if you read it, it's the same exact book. There's no change, just the title and the numbering. I'm sorry, again, another <laughs> number one. Yeah. Um... The rest of my pile are Joe Casey comics. That's well done. <laughs> from different publishers. Ooh. The Bounce okay. Number Four from Image. Joe Casey, David Messina. On one level, it's about if Spider-Man was a stoner, which is pretty fun. Mm -hmm. But there's all sorts of craziness. Like every issue, he adds a little more to what's going on in this world, because it's not quite clear yet. There's superheroes popping up, and nobody knows what's going on. But mm. it's cool. I like it. That sounds cool. In this issue, the bounce goes to see a psychic. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Hmm. I can't tie in. How about a psycho? Ah, uh, it's Dexter issue too. That's the best I got. It's been a while. Um, I'm 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 not proud of you, but are you happy? You did okay. Thank you. Gold star. Uh, this is issue two. Issue one is sold out from us. We're getting more. Oh, yeah. um, just to remind you, though, this book is out. Instead of being canceled like it was three or four times, the last couple years kept being resolicited. Oh, really? Yeah, over and over. So it's monthly now. You're welcome. And the story keeps going of his weird high school reunion. And there's definitely a murder. And it's by the Dexter creator, right? Yeah. Nice. Jeff Lindsay. Lindsay. Check it. 
All right, the second Joe Casey book I've got, Catalyst Comics, number two. Um, what so, is that? So, Joe Casey and a, a trio of artists, Dan McDade, Paul Mayberry, and Ulysses Farinas, are rebooting those 90s Dark Horse superhero characters. You know, oh. Agents of Change, mm -hmm. um, I, Amazing Grace, Frank Wells. I don't, I don't know yeah. these characters all that well. I just remember like seeing the single issues back in the day. But yeah, Joe Casey, three artists rebooting these characters into weird, colorful, really exciting comics. That's cool. Like if you're into superheroes, this is for you. Read superhero comics if you must, and this is it. Okay. I will. It looks great. It's good fun. That like looks cool. The, th the three different artists like give each each uh, story a different feel. It's like an anthology. It's a I believe it's a six issue series. So hmm. six issue anthology series. Ongoing stories running through six issues. Got everything. And I don't have a tie in. It's a superhero book. Thunderbolts. <laughs> That's sorry. And it's an infinity tie in. Infinity. How did how are you tying in Thunderbolts with all that space stuff? This is pretty sweet because for like the first ninety five percent, nothing to do with it. It's just the you know, the Red Hulk got all these assassins together and then he goes inside of his once we every time we do a job, we'll do one of your jobs. And so they literally pick straws, and it's Punisher's time. And he's going to take out the crime boss supplier. He's the one that gives all the dumb criminals and all the newbies all their stuff. And he goes, let's take him out. And he goes, okay. And when they're suiting up, go stealth operation. Someone goes, you know, the Avengers are all gone, right? And he goes, hey, everyone, let's go do this thing. So basically, there are no heroes to stop the Thunderbolts from doing whatever they want to criminals. Uh, that's cool. I like that idea. Frank Castle almost smiles when he hears it, like, huh, let's go, let's take this submarine. Um, however, on the last page, when he says, oh, that has nothing to do with us, everyone's in space, the spaceships are coming to Earth. So these guys are going to have to stop their thing and do their Thunderbolts thing on aliens. <laughs> cool. That's fun. So this is a good way to tie in a book into a regular story without making it... it makes, just by saying the Avengers aren't here, that's all you need to know. They're not here. The end. Yeah. So when Thanos comes... Electra's gonna fight him in my brain. Probably not, she'll get killed. That sounds delightful. Yeah, so really good tie in. I like it. Check it. Out. Let's move out somewhere else. Okay, let's talk about New Thing. Okay. I don't know what New Thing is, but we're gonna talk about yeah, it. Yeah, hard. But really nicely, sweetly. Really in an angry way. When does it start? All right, next segment, we are here with customer Derek. Uh, just do a quick thing, talking about what's here right now. Uh, so I bought something. What would you buy today? I actually bought uh, Wolverine 1, 2, and 3. Ooh, nice. I'm getting back into comics. I just bought a house, and now we can actually okay. open up my boxes and all the stuff I stored away. So oh. um, I have a lot of Hot Toys figures, and I've seen you guys have actually grown down here so much. So I came back and uh, started to collect some of my old stuff that I want to get from, you know, years in the past. Okay. And, uh, my good friend lives up in Long Beach and he collects a lot of Star Wars stuff. Mm -hmm. So every time I come in and take pictures of stuff and send them and then I never have to buy it for him. So mm -hmm. he's actually coming down tomorrow so I can grab this one. Oh sweet. I was actually here last week and bought a Boba Fett for him. So oh nice. You want to show him? I'm buying for two so. Nice. So yeah. Did you ever have the Wolverines before? Or is that a No, it's my first time my dad. Nice. You guys have the best collection down as far as old school and all that. And you know, customer service is the best. So oh, thank you. That makes me want to come in. <laughs> and that's not me. <laughs> but yes, it's just that. You know, I mean, I've come to many comic stores. I actually travel around the country, and this is one of the few that actually are very inviting. Oh, you know, sweet, come you. in and very helpful, so. We appreciate that. Yeah. Anything, anything else in the future looking to purchase, or got your eye on this? Well, I'm trying to keep my credit card in my pocket because it wants to jump out right now. <laughs> yeah, it's so. a good idea. <laughs> yeah, but I'll be back many times, so. The, probably the best comics are in San Diego by far. Cool. All right, thank you very much. No problem, mate. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Um, I was going to say, take something in the house, but you can't do this. <laughs> Free bag. Uh, all right, that's it for this week. I'm Matt, and Danny's behind the camera. We'll see y'all next week. Sometime, if we remember. See you later.